What's up guys? How's it going folks? It's been a while like most times lately because I haven't really had much chance to pick up my car but uh, we have some really good news that I cannot wait to share with you guys. We're going to start building this thing again. We're almost done. We just got to get the front end and uh, get a bunch of stickers and stuff done up because we're going with a pretty basic paint job. But uh, yeah, we'll get into it. We got some news for you guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, she hasn't been touched now for probably about a month. Here she is, the back end, that's everything's done. I gotta shove a bolt into the window bar and uh, finish that up. But the rear end is pretty much done. I took my gas tank holder out. I'm gonna do something this year. We're gonna weld it to my cage and we're gonna have a floating gas tank this year. So all this is welcome to come right on in. <laughs> um, I gotta still get another battery. Uh, this battery has a dead cell. It won't stay charged. I'll just be putting it uh, in parallel with another battery because alternator and stuff don't work on this and I don't have time to do it because We have one month guys. We have one month and we're going to the smash up premise again this year. Uh, we haven't been there since 2022 Okay guys, it's gonna be time to pull this thing out a little bit and uh Start getting some work done on this. There's still a fair bit that I gotta do. Um, I wasn't going to complete it so soon because I had like two pages worth of stuff that I was gonna do to this car. But uh, yeah, I completely forgot. Smash up for MS is coming in in about a month. This is May 22nd and we got until July 6th, the day of the Derby to completely finish this thing. So we're not gonna do a whole lot uh, the thing is almost done. We got to get two pieces of threaded rod for this front end so we can keep this all together. I got to get a bumper for the front end. I was going to get the alternator and, and all that stuff working, but I'm not even going to bother with that. It's not worth it. Um, I got to get a bunch of bolts for the hood. Uh, we got to get our flo uh, floating gas tank mounted. I got to get that done. I want us to really do that. So uh, we're going to get that done next. I got to get another battery and we have to weld up this side we got to get this side finished welded up and once we do that we can flick some paint on it and that'll be about it that'll be about it and that's the first part of the great news the second part is we are no longer looking for people to tow our vehicles anymore i have finally gotten myself a truck uh it's not brand new it's a 2004 but she is in pretty good shape i gotta get a fender for this side. I'm gonna fix up the exhaust a little bit, but other than that, this thing works great. She's literally about to roll over on 200,000. She got 199, uh, 723,000. So yeah, she's literally just about to roll over on 200,000. Four wheel drive and everything works perfect. So we are no longer getting people to tow our stuff. We are towing our own shit. <laughs> so let's get this thing done. We're gonna start working on some easy stuff today, stuff that we can get done really, really quick and uh we'll go from there so stay tuned guys all right guys i'm coming back with some more good news i have just got confirmation that we are allowed to have floating gas tanks as long as the tank don't move so this this is what i got rigged up it's only clamped there for now and yes the gas tank will be moved when i goes to weld this um so yeah this is what we're going to do we're going to have a floating gas tank this year i chopped off the uh oh my goodness hold on I chopped off the uh, threaded rod that was on it because that, was, that wasn't doing anything. I couldn't even reach down through the floor. So we're going to weld it. Uh, not going to weld it all the way around because eventually I am going to want to cut it off when this car is done. So we'll just uh, run a few beads every so many uh, inches or so. And I am, I'm, I'm going to add in a gusset. I'm going to get, I'd say, probably about, uh, I don't know, probably get some welding strapping, I guess. And we'll probably go from the bottom of this piece and weld it to the bottom of this on both sides 
and it probably have like two straps going down through up and under the back and yeah once we get that all welded in place that's not going to move that's not going to go anywhere so uh we'll get set up we'll get this cleaned up tacked into place and uh see how it looks and go from there okay we have a tack welded in place i got it cleaned up smoothed out i'm gonna get ready to cut a channel and bevel it so i can uh go back over it and throw some beads over it so i can make sure that's not going anywhere so that's pretty much done. This car don't have a whole lot left to be done, really. A couple pieces of threaded to ride through the front. We'll get a bumper. I gotta throw some water into it because we don't have a water pump. I don't. It's not gonna move, but at least the block will be full. Um, yeah. Other than that, boys, there's not a whole lot left for this car, but I'm super stoked to go and smash up. I can't wait, and especially now that I'm be pulling my own stuff. Like I've been wanting this for the last couple of years, so. Uh, yeah, we're finally here. I gotta get a bunch of stickers and stuff made up. I got my own decals and whatnot. And uh, I'm also selling them too. If anybody's looking to get their own personalized uh, uh, roof sign or stickers or anything at all, you guys give me a shoot, give me a design and I can make it up for you. And I'm not looking to get rich. All, all money is just gonna go back into this sport. So anyways, guys, we'll get that welded in and uh, that's gonna be about in for this video. But I think I'm going to have to get this thing started up within the next couple of days. And i got to fix a brake line. And we got to get this, this side welded up. So I'm hoping the weather is not supposed to be great. It's actually not even supposed to be sunny right now. It was supposed to be crap all day with showers. But weather decided to do something different. So hopefully this keeps happening. And over this weekend we'll get this car pretty much done. I don't know if I'm going to take out the windshield. It's... And new flan is not really a big deal. They don't, they don't really make you take them out. If you do, you can put a screen up there, which I got. So we'll, we'll see what happens. If I got the time, I'll take that out. I'm just more interested in getting everything else done because removing a windshield is not going to help me win the derby at all. It's not going to do anything at all. So we'll get the car done first, and then we'll see if we got enough time to get that done. Well, guys, it's getting to be at the end of the day. We managed to get this done. I just got it up there for now and put a couple uh, ratchet straps around it because I would imagine very soon in the near future I'm going to need to move the car and I would prefer if the tank didn't go flying on me while I'm, you know, pulling out into the street and whatnot. So, that's strapped down, but that's doing well. Like I said, I'm going to put a couple gussets into it yet, but I mean, like that thing is... See that? They're good. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So, like I said, a couple gussets to go from the sides each way and uh i say we'll different find a different way to mount that gas tank who knows maybe we'll, we'll use vacuum straps we will see uh yeah i gotta figure out i gotta get another battery this battery is not the best like i said i got a dead cell but it does hold charge for a little bit and i'm gonna have it hooked up in parallel with another battery so it should be fine so realistically i don't know why i put this rear end up but it needs to come down because other than a few bolts and yeah other than a few bolts on each side the rear end is done everything now from the drivers or the yeah i guess the driver and passenger doors up is what needs to be done so we're going to get this door and everything welded up because that's uh not quite done i don't know how i'm going to get that in there i've been pounding on that and the more you pounds on it the door behind it bends so i don't know i'll get i'll figure out something maybe i'll push my truck up against it or something i don't know but now we got to tackle this front end this front end has got to come up um we got to get a bumper we need some bumper straps to weld it on i got to get two pieces of uh threaded rod uh we got to bolt up the hood and with the brackets as well i mean other than that there's not much left i got a few tires out back i'm gonna get mounted just so i can have for spares obviously um yeah other than that man like i said this thing don't have a whole lot to do it's just you know a bunch of nick's knack stuff i guess you can say so anyways that's it now for me at the end of the day i'm done um uh depending on the weather we will get at this over the weekend maybe we'll get the rest of this side welded up so then the only thing we got to focus on is the front end and then like i said possibly taking the windshield out everything from the doors up will be the only problem 
and yeah all right guys well i hope you guys stay tuned and i hope you guys are enjoying it i think this car is going to do all right this is going in around number three this time i've learned a lot about this car so i think we're going to do all right i think we'll be we will be fine so anyways guys have yourselves a good night we will see you in the next video and uh, yeah like i said we're going to be at this a lot so uh stay tuned guys we only got a month